There were people who started challenging me. And one such person, Sam Shamoon. Sam Shamoon. We are going to talk about Zakir Naik, ladies and gentlemen. Zakir Naik, the man who has never faced one actual debater in his entire career, uh, but is somehow known as a champion debater. And this is very, very interesting. But uh, Zakir Naik commented on us recently. If people like Sam Shamoon or people like David Wood want to have a debate, let them become popular saying that we're basically not you know we're not good enough to we're not at his level and uh the it's interesting the reason zakir Naik finally had to comment was muslims for years have been going to him could you please refute these christian apologists why don't you take out sam shamoon and david wood and christian prince and james white and jay smith and william lane craig why don't you take why don't you take out these christian apologists and for years, Zakir Naik, no, they're beneath me. They're not good enough for me. They will not bring 20,000 or a million or however many he wants to to uh, a debate. Uh, they won't do it. Therefore, they're they're unworthy of me. When this guy has never faced one actual <laughs> one actual debater in his entire career. Uh, so when, when you, you'll notice when, when Zakir Naik faces anyone, it's either one, someone who doesn't know anything about Islam, or two, someone that he can overpower with rhetoric. Those are the two categories. You'll never, you've never once seen him face someone who has carefully studied Islam and who can match his level of rhetoric. Never once, and he never will. He use, uh, it's actually a brilliant tactic. Years ago, he debated like two or three people. And Sam, I found this out because back when I started, I kept hearing, oh, Zakir Naik is the guy who's schooling everyone. Zakir Naik is the one who's crushing all, all the Christians. And Muslims kept telling me, Zakir Naik has refuted all of your best, all of your best debaters. I said, oh, really? So I went and I ordered the Zakir Naik collection on DVD. I got the Zakir Naik debate collection. And I was like, cool, now I get to see all these debates. And I got it. And there were two debates on there. The rest were lectures. I was like, wait. Did they leave all of the debates out by accident? What, what happened? I, I heard he's been going around debating everyone for all these years. What's going on? And uh, turns out more like he's debated two people way back in the day and then has never, but has never once faced an actual experienced Christian debater, even though everyone's challenged him. And so uh, he's responding and saying, oh, David Wood's trying to get attention. Guys, my claim has never been Zucker Knight needs to, needs to debate me. It's just, right. could he debate one actual debater? It's his fans who think he's the champion debater who run to us. Why aren't you addressing? Why won't you face Ch Zucker Knight face to face? It's like, what are you talking about? We'll face yeah. him. No, no problem. Yeah, Anytime. Just time. set it up. Set it up right now. And then you finally get the response from him. No, they're, everyone's beneath me. So here's the situation. David and Sam, you're scared to face Zucker Knight. And you ask us, no, we're, we'd be happy to face Zucker Knight. Set it up. And then you ask Zucker Knight, no, they're beneath me. And then the Muslims come back. Ha ha, you're beneath him. So wait a minute. We're running from him. We're scared. And at the same time, we're beneath him. We're not worthy to debate yeah. him. And so th yeah. this is the same level of delusion that we see over and over again. In fact, we're going to see it in these video clips that we're watching, where once again, Zakir Naik is going to show that Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible, the Bible that's been corrupted and that you can't trust. Remember that from yesterday, guys? Can I share another true story? Oh, yeah. No, this is, and you guys, contact Sabil Ahmed. Sabil Ahmed, I consider him a friend. He also works with Eddie of the Dean Show. If he's going to lie, he'll answer to the Lord because he was there. Folks, I actually had a mini debate with Zakir Naik in a library at Skokie Library. Before Zachar Naik debated William Campbell, we had a meeting at Skokie Library in a small room that they rented on the deity of Christ. Remember at that time, I wasn't as known. Answering Islam was catching on. In 1998, the website Answering Islam was started. And so it was getting the attention of Muslims. And so they challenged the owner of Answering Islam. Shabir Ali actually did. He sent a challenge to Jochen Katz, who started the website. Jochen Katz said, I'm not a debater, I'm a writer. I told Jochen, I'll step in. Let me be, do, be the one to debate. But anyway, because of answering Islam, it was starting to get to make an impact. At that time, there was no YouTube. Zakir Naik, Sabil Ahmed, and I believe Ayub was there. It's been a while, but I know Sabil was there because he recorded it. We were in a small room. It was the deity of Christ. And I nailed him on Surah 57, verse 3, and Revelation 1, 17, 18. It even go beyond that. Now, let me explain why that's relevant. In chapter 57, verse 3, one of the names of Allah is that he's the first and the last. So I went to Revelation 1, 17, 18. I said, Jesus, and I read it. I go, John says, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. He placed his right hand upon me and said, do not be afraid. I'm the first and last. I'm the living one. I was dead, and behold, I live forevermore. I go, here, Jesus says he's the first and last. He died and came to life. Why is Jesus claiming to be the first last when your Quran says only God, God alone, Allah is the first last? You know what his argument is? It was well, first last can mean different things, and yeah, you can call someone first last, and it doesn't have to have the same meaning as it does for Allah. I said, prove it. Show me where the Quran made the qualification you did. 
you're basically a Salafi and you believe in what's called, remember this concept, it's called Tawheed al Asma wa Sifat, the oneness of the names and the attributes of Allah. Those names that are unique to Allah cannot be given to a creature. And so, so coincidentally, I, unfortunately, I didn't record it. I was stupid. I trusted them. See, that's again my naive, being naive at that time. Sabil recorded it. He had it recorded. And coincidentally, his recording wasn't too good. The sound wasn't good. So when he sent me a copy, it was basically unbearable to listen. So here they are in a room where I schooled Nayak, and supposedly they're going to record it. But when they sent me the copy, it was so bad, you couldn't do anything with it. And so now that mini debate where he got schooled by me, glory to Jesus, is something that's only known between me, Naik, Sabil Ahmed, and the others there, and the Lord Jesus, because they're going to deny it. And if they're going to deny it, I'll be in their face and saying, you're lying, which actually convinces me why I need to go after Muhammad, because you have no integrity. So I basically did school Naik on the deity of Christ in a private room in Skokie Library. Fortunately, though, Zakhar Naik can always come back for a for a debate with Sam anytime on stage, on camera. It's very easy. Doesn't have to leave his home. Can do it right now on the internet right. anytime. No problem. We're the ones inviting these guys. And Sam has Sam has basically issued the challenge to everyone to debate whether the Bible teaches the Trinity, whether the Quran teaches Tawheed, and what the Quran says about the Bible. Those are open challenges right. to Muhammad Hijab, Ali Dawa, Adnan Rashid, Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik. Shabir Ali, all of them. Basically, Z Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik is good at one thing. He, When he was younger, he memorized tons of references, right? He memorized tons of references. So he's good at firing off references. Other than that, his arguments, he, the things he says are the stupidest things anyone could possibly say. Sam Shamoon has an even greater reference recall than Zakir Naik. But Sam Shamoon makes devastating arguments. And he's, yeah, I, I believe Sam Shamoon would crush any of these guys or all of them at once, right? In other words, if you put Zakir Naik and Shabir Ali and Muhammad Hijab and 10 others on stage, I, I believe Sam would crush all of them at the same time.